Okay, here's one that you don't see every day. I guess my latest toy I picked up. Um, Ant Supply Model LA-1000A. Um, the reason I wanted this one is because it's a sweep tube amplifier. Actually, just a four sweep tube amplifier. No driver, so no two driving four or one driving four. That's four output. So to run a uh, CB into it, you do need a little uh, driver, 50, 100 watt driver in front of it to um, get it to do what it needs to do. But this um, amplifier got very high ratings on eHam and you know other reviews. And I wanted it to see um, if there's any major differences between this amplifier and a uh, decent sweep tube amplifier like a um, Palomar 300A or a uh, Maverick 250 or something. And I pretty much found that uh, basically there are no differences. Um, this is a nicely built amplifier and it's got all the ham bands in it but um, other than that it's um, pretty the same um, as a uh, CB sweep tube amplifier that everybody you know dogs out and say sweep tube and amplifiers ain't no good so I wanted to see you know what a highly reviewed highly rated and good reviewed uh, ham sweep tube amplifier looked like so I got one and then the schematics were on um, on the net so I downloaded and um, printed out a picture of the schematic and went through it and basically the same design as any um, CB sweep tube amplifier you know if you look in here you got the four output sweep tubes and you know you don't see anything special the only one thing I do see is this one has a tuned input for each band and um, each of them coils toroid coils with the wires winding around them each one is for a uh, separate band and over in this corner the missing one would have been for 10 meters um, and since they outlawed amplifiers that would work on 10 meters because you know they would work on 11 meters because they're so close they just uh, removed the stuff the input um, circuit or the input matching circuit for uh, 10 meters and you know they started with 15 and on up or down whichever way you look at it and on this one since it didn't have the um, 10 meter stuff in it somebody modified the 15 meter coil there so it'll work on 10 meters and that's that little jumper across there somebody modified it um, so it'll work on 10 meters and same it's got all the ham band you know switching stuff and that ham band coil there for the different bands in it and if you notice over here it starts at um, those are megahertz 21 megahertz 24 you know 7 14 sorry 7 3.5 1.8 megahertz representing the ham bands and if you notice the uh, 28 meter ham band is not available either they locked it out and this switch does not go any further um, on one that was for export they would um, have that um, uh, 28 meter band on there and it wouldn't be locked out and it had a circuitry on it too and other than that you know uh, straight tuning load a pi output one thing I do like about ham amplifiers versus CB's it does have a uh, single meter but it, it goes V for voltage so you can read voltage and I for play current on it you know I do like the meter where CB amp like let's say this Raiders just got a relative output meter so I do like the metering and I do like the tune input um, it doesn't have a driver so you need the driver and it also um, since it's a ham band you need a foot switch or something to key the amp up uh, it does not key up on it on, on its own have a sensing circuit like a, a CB amp so um, this um, cable coming here is um, going to my foot switch down there so that's what it looked like this little 4 and it uses 6LQ6 um, same as in DNA amps like the Maverick 250 and the Phantom 500 you know same type of sweep tubes which aren't cheap so we'll let it warm up 
and it's not going to key down until I key the foot switch so we just running the radio and we're using the Raider for a driver for it so the Raider's on standby and with all this in line I am losing a few watts and um, because we got the radio the um, preamp we just left in line and then the uh, digital watt meter and then the uh, Raider and then the LA-1000 and then going to a dummy load so it's a lot of junk in line and that's why I'm getting that 1.5 um, SWR if I took some of it out of line that would be flat and that's with everything off and that's the radio doing about two and a half with all that junk in line sucking the power down talking to 10 or so peak didn't mean to put it on peak but that's what I had left it on and audio on average audio and like I say the radio is actually doing a little more with all this stuff in line then we're going to turn the uh, radar on and put it on the 200 watt scale just showing what we're going to put into the amp and did gain about 70 audio not much swing Swinging to about audio, audio 85 maybe. <whistles> Whistling to 100, and that's bird watts. And we're gonna put the um, radar on peak, peak watts, audio, audio 140 peak, audio. And last, we're gonna go to the uh, 2000 watt scale, take it off peak, and um, oh, sit down so I can hit the foot switch and fire up the amp. <clears throat> right there is on voltage and then um, that's current or amps zero current with it on standby and when you key down with no drive on it um, just a little bit of current resting current and one thing about foot switches is that you want to key the amp first like key the amp and then key the mic or the drive into it if you key the drive first and then you key the amp the amp is switching on with power going into it that's called hot switching you don't want to really do that so anyway you key the amp got everything I guess set hopefully and uh, got a key to mic you can see the plate current going way up that's you know with the full drive and we're dead keying about um, a little over 200 audio audio talking about three and a quarter <whistles> listen to about 400 audio and last we gonna put it on peak it would do a little more if I peaked it up but you know a mic in one hand a camera in the other foot switch on the pedal audio a little bit too uh, too much for me so audio it would do like about five and a quarter if I uh, tighten up the uh, tune and load um, you know had the cover on and off and turned it over and all that so that's gonna be it for this little um, Ford tube Sweep 2 LA-1000A amplifier by Amp Supply. Does about the same thing, you know, uh, any other 4 tube uh, output amplifier like a um, Palomar 300A if you've seen, um, seen me do quite, you know, a bit of those lately. Just about the same thing except, you know, no driver and no key in circuit. Well, it's key in circuit, but no uh, sensing. So you got to use a foot switch or something else to key this amp. One other thing I did notice, I'll tell you right quick, is the fan pulls the hot air out. I've seen, you know, Eagle 500s, Eagle 525s, they were designed that way too. Um, I did a little reading on that and it basically doesn't make a lot of difference whether you pull the hot air out or push the cold air in. Um, but just something I noticed on that. So anyway, in a little long one just to show you that this amp does what it's supposed to do no hiccups no nothing else the little um, amp supply LA 1000 it's getting a little warmer too getting close to that 500 and like I said if I peaked it and trimmed it a little bit I get a little more output could squeeze a little bit more but camera in one hand mic in the other foot switch down i am uh, only got two hands so that's gonna be it of my little uh, Amp Supply, the LA-1000A, um, KW Amplifier, that's interesting, maybe a thousand watts input, but you ain't gonna get much more than um, 500 or so out of it. 
out of them four sweet to six LQ6s. All right, that's it for this one. Bye.